I have to do it at this angle. I have to, because it unplugs every half a second at that angle. So, it has to be at this angle. Sorry, guys. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. Just flip your damn phone. It's not that hard. What the fuck? What's up? Texas. Nice. What's up? Hi. You like Trump? Uh, yes, I do. Why? What the fuck? Why are people skipping me? What's up? What's up? Yes. He is very good for our economy. What has Trump done for the economy? Are you a Biden supporter? Yeah. Um. Bruh. Do you support Black Lives Matter? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for judging you. High five, dude. You have a good day, okay? You too. Bruh, listen. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of motherfuckers going on the fucking Trump tag just to jerk each other off. As soon as they hear, oh, you're a Biden supporter? Yeah. And they're fucking like, stop drinking each other off just to fucking skip me. Fucking talk. Explain why you like him. Dick cheese. You can't. You fucking can't. That's why you skip me. What's up? Hi. You like Trump? Uh, no, not really. All right, you have a good one. What's up? What? I said, what's up? Hey. Bruh. What's up? What's up, Brady? You like you like BLM? Yeah. All right, good. You have a good one. You kind of look like George Floyd. You're so fucking unfunny. Like, literally just shut the fuck up. Just don't make jokes. They're fucking terrible. Holy shit. I'm tired of you and all 40 other fucking foreskin ass, fucking duplicate ass NPCs coming on here making dumb fucking jokes. Has anyone ever actually laughed at one of your jokes ever? No. Exactly. It's like, shut the fuck up. Holy shit. Fucking little boys. I'm done with them. What's up? What? What's up? You like Trump? No, wait, no, I can, wait, um, 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 uh, wait, I can. No, I'm just, I'm just going to get out of pocket. Like, I'm dumb, bro. Like, I'm always like, I'm not that mean on Omegle. I'm, I'm coming across crackers. I'm losing it. What's up? You like Trump? Yeah. Why? What does that say? Don't mess with Texas. Would you like Trump? No. Why not? I just think he's a shit president. So you don't agree with his policies and stuff? Nope. You don't agree with anything that he does? No. So you don't agree that he has the lowest black, Hispanic, and Asian unemployment rate? Not anymore, no. Yes, he still does. No. The lowest on record is still him. Um, wait, wait, wait. Right now, he has the third worst economy of any president. That's wrong. No. It's literally not. Like, just fucking Google it. Please, holy wrong, shit. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Wait, you don't think there's a recession as a result of COVID? Wait, uh, this is a literal fucking 10-year-old. Why am I arguing with you? Uh, that's it. New rule. No more fucking 10 Holy shit. What's up? Oh, you look like a Trumper. What's up? I'm not a Trumper. Huh. Are you 18? Yes. Oh, yeah, I didn't know where that was going to go. That was definitely a slur, say. Hello. What's up? Hi. 
How much? Trump or Biden? Uh, Biden. Ooh, why? I agree with him on more policies. Okay. Who do you think is going to win the election? Uh, I'm inclined to believe Biden, but you can never know. Mm. Why do you think Biden will win? That's the big question. Um, well, if it were, like, no voter suppression, he would definitely, like, like, it wouldn't even be close, but, uh, just looking at, like, polling data right now, it's, it it seems as though Biden has a pretty strong grasp on the election. Although, it's such a different circumstance of voting this year, no one can really know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I I feel like Trump's gonna win for a good amount of reasons. Such as? Alright, so... We can, polls I feel like are really inaccurate because they really don't grasp um, everybody in the community. So I would, so old people, first off, they tend to be more conservative and they really don't take these online polls, right? Uh, Most polls aren't done online. Where are they taken? Most polls are done through phones. Done through phones, so kind of online then? No, they they just call like registered voters. They the the way it works is they select a random group of registered voters and then they call them uh, like a diverse portfolio and then they have a bit of a margin of error and they announce the margin of error and then they announce the results. But they get okay. like they get they make sure that they have a diverse pool in age so it's representative of all groups. So it's kind of screwed up if it's not getting everybody. It, it is. Uh, everyone who can vote is included in polling data. I mean, it's like a microcosm of everyone who can vote. Like, it's a smaller percentage because obviously you can't call every single person in the country. But the microcosm is representative of, like, the whole population because they do it. I think in a, they should just go state by state, honestly. That's my opinion on it. They do. What? They do. So there are two different types of polls. They do state polls and national polls. And the way they arrive at national polls is by looking at the aggregates of state polls. Yeah. Um, the reason I think um, it's it's going to be Trump is a lot of, um, like, I'm going to go back to the old people stuff. Um, a lot of people of that age um, really don't take calls that they have no clue who it is. You get what I mean? Uh, I don't think, I don't know. I think that's purely speculative. I don't think that's like really true. Also, old people trust Biden more on policies like social security. And that's very, very important to them. Like social social security, if they've already claimed theirs, then. Well, I mean, if you claim your social security and then you're taking out your social security and the next president just gets rid of it, you've just paid into social security for 60 years with no return. So that's especially what they care about. Social security, Medicare, Medicaid. Those are the three well, priorities. I, I am pretty sure that Trump... Wait, does he want to... One second. Social security... Uh, Trump has like uh, constantly waged war against social safety nets. Uh, let's see. Uh, U.S. President, okay, that his second term, he would protect Social Security. Social Security. And where uh, do you have this from? AmericanProgress.org. Okay. And all of these places um, are are uh, fact checking that, and all of them say under Trump's plan, Social Security will. Uh, let's see, yeah, under or my bad. Uh, quote from Trump: We protect Social Security. He added, according to Fox News, um, an official. Yeah, I don't care what he says when his policy is cutting twenty five percent of the payroll tax that funds Social Security, which is what he did. So he's like actively defunding Social Security. Of course, during the time of an election to to like pander to older voters, he's going to be like, yeah, I'm going to protect Social Security. But Social Security is funded by a 6.2% payroll tax that Donald Trump cut. Like I, if you've ever worked the job, you would notice that part of your taxes, just like a specific part of your tax is dedicated to only Social Security. Like it's the only tax that has a specific plan, what it does. Taking a look at this right now, because uh, I I kind of have a job, I guess you could say. 
Like, uh, he, he has also actually said that he plans to go further. The president also said that if he is reelected, he wants not only to turn the delay into a tax cut that would result in significant revenue losses for Social Security, but also to eliminate employee payroll taxes for good. So that would, uh, like, just kill Social Security. You got this from KSTP.com, right? No, I got it from American Progress. Oh, got it. Okay. Oh yeah, right there. Uh, and I Trump can and and there's also yeah. a Fox News article that says the same thing. And Fox News is uh, usually no, Trump weighs permanent payroll tax deferral. Uh, one second. I need to find the Fox News article right here. Fox, Fox, Fox. Oh, that's uh, USA Today, my bad. Um, let me find that real quick. Yeah, Biden's false attacks on Trump's social security plan. Right there. This, uh, I, that's probably an op-ed, but this is like an actual article that says Trump weighs permanent payroll tax deferral. Trump said it won't impact social security, but that's demonstrably untrue. It will. Because you can't just cut a payroll tax and like defer it without having it uh, affect social security, considering that's the only way social security receives any funding. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let's go to a different topic now. <laughs> Okay. Um, one thing oh, right. Did say is was, that talk, he was I talking about Democrats polls earlier? What? Was that was that talking about pearl, <laughs> polls earlier? Polls? Yeah. I'm sorry. One second. There's an ad is playing now, and it's so loud. Okay. My bad. All right. So were we talking polls earlier? Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to go based off of not a lot of, I'm, I don't want to use the word, but old people, I guess you could say. Like my grandmother, she doesn't accept calls from numbers that she doesn't recognize. Right? Yeah, but you don't have to call every old person in the country to like realize what the general pattern of old people is going to be voting. Because old people are relatively a monolith, so there's only going to be like two really differentiations. They're either voting for Biden or voting for Trump. So if you have a sample size of old people, like let's say let's say 50 out of the 1000 uh, 50 out of the 1000 old people you call pick up, it's not going to affect the results like the sample size really doesn't matter. What matters is that you call like different people and 50 people is enough. Like even if you only have like a 10% pickup rate, even if you only have like a 2.5% pickup rate, these people are going to be so diverse in thought that you will have an accurate representation as to what the election outcome will be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I just, because based off of what I've seen, um, things can change very dramatically like take a look at the 2016 election like every single person all the polls were saying oh yeah no hillary's gonna win by a landslide and take a look what happened the polls were relatively right and they were actually uh they were too favored to trump so like certain states where trump was expected to do well he performed like he performed underwhelmingly and the only place where the polls really failed was the rust belt but even though, even in those situations, other than like states like Wisconsin, which you would have been able to see Wisconsin coming because Hillary Clinton literally never visited Wisconsin. Other than states like Wisconsin, they were completely within the margin of error. So it's not like people say the 2016 polls were like inaccurate. The only thing that was inaccurate about them was the national prescription made off the polls. But the polls themselves were relatively accurate. They were within their margin of errors for the most part. And also it was a very hard election to predict because two weeks before and the way you arrive at whether or not a poll is correct is by looking at its trends relative to like the time that it was taken over so the polls were pretty much on the spot for like six months and then two weeks before the election james comey opened up an investigation on hillary clinton so that changed a lot of people's opinions on hillary clinton like right before the election and did a lot of damage to her and that's not something that a poll could account for that would be like if donald trump got shot tomorrow and then like he died and then people were like, oh, the polls were wrong because they predicted a Donald Trump win, but now Biden's president. Oh, and the polls aren't wrong. Donald Trump just died. It's not something that you could account for. Mm -hmm. I guess you're, yeah, I, I see where you're coming from here. Yeah. Here, do you, here um, do you want to make a uh, 2020 map with me? Sure. All right. 
uh, road to 70. Right. You know, I, I love making maps myself, actually. I do it all the time. Because I have, like, this little presidential, sim- like, uh, what is it called? The Presidential Machine 2020, I think. If you've ever heard of that one. Yeah. We can just do the swing states and see and and predict those. Because, like, the solid states don't really matter. Yeah. So, um, PA, Michigan, Wisconsin, Ohio, uh, New Hampshire, North Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Texas, and Arizona. Right. So we're just going to start from scratch. So we can agree Washington is going to Biden. Oregon is as well. Yeah, everything that's like dark red or dark blue doesn't matter. You know, I'm actually going to keep Nevada um, neutral for now because that's also a swing state. I'm just going to go, oh, that is not Trump at all. (laughs) All right. So, Trump, Trump, Trump. Should we label Kansas as Trump? Yeah. I mean, at most it could be a split electorate, and I highly doubt that that happens. Should, all right, so. Um, let's see. So, I'm thinking Nevada barely goes blue. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Uh, I just got to label all the solid states right now. Iowa, Iowa will go red this election. It's a red state. Yeah, I, I predicted that one as well. Illinois is going blue. Um, Indi- here, I, I Indiana will be red. Blue. Indiana will be red, I feel like. I'm not, I'm not. I don't see that one. Here, let me take a look at Indiana polls real quick. Uh-huh. I know I can't exactly say too much based off of polls, but like you said, polls can be correct. Uh, Indiana, Indiana, Indiana. Did I pass it? I did pass it. Okay, so let's start by the top. Um, uh, okay, okay. Da, 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 da. Nope. Is it in there? No. There, no. Um, I'm thinking Ohio goes red. Yeah. Michi- I'm thinking Ohio goes red. Michigan. And that well- is actually the exact reason I'm thinking, um... Trump is going to win because I'm no president has ever won without Ohio. Yeah, but that's been true for other states in history that just like completely failed. Like that used to be the case for Missouri and then a president won Missouri. And then it was like, okay, that state doesn't matter anymore. I mean, a president lost Missouri and still won. Indiana is currently in the lead by Trump by 7%. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Virginia is going blue. Virginia is a pretty solid blue state. PA, I think. Yeah, no, I, I solidified that blue. I feel like North Carolina is still it's it's too close to call on that one. I think it'll I think it'll end up being red a little bit. Mm-hmm. I think it's Pennsylvania. Safe to say. This is, in my opinion, the most controversial state. I think Maybe PA Florida. will. I think PA will barely go blue because it's a toss up, but it's also Biden's home state. Biden was born in PA. Yeah. All right. Um, Florida. Uh, I did. I'm not sure about Florida. I think I'm going to say red on this one because, uh, well, first off, everybody was predicting Florida to go to Clinton. I, I just do want to say that. Um, Florida is only in the lead by Biden by 3.6% right now. Yeah, sure. You know, so Florida can... So, you know, I, we, I'll, th- I'll throw you a bone and make Florida red. All right. Um, I'm I'm just uh, I'm I'm dimming the redness and blueness on swing states. Would you consider Virginia a swing state? No, Vir- no, Virginia used to be considered a swing state. Now it's pretty solid blue. Yep. So Texas going red. Sure. Yeah. One. This this will probably be the last election that Texas goes red. We can say Georgia will go red. Also, I'm doing best case scenario for Trump right now. Michigan. Uh, there's no chance it's going red this election. Whitmer has been, like, even without the national election, Whitmer's approval rating is just going up, 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 and she's a Democrat. Michigan, Michiganders are really liking blue policies right now. Wisconsin. Mich- Wisconsin is on the same path, especially after Kenosha. They're especially blue now. 
And Minnesota, Minnesota is just a solid blue state. Like it's it's really never gone red. It's only gone red in Reagan's situation. Uh, Arizona. Uh, Arizona will go red. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alaska. I'm pretty sure that one's going red as yeah. well. It was four. Oh, Maine. Maine. Maine will go blue. It all. It always goes blue. It hasn't changed. But in which? Do you think the second district will go blue? Huh? What about the second district of Maine? Yeah, uh, I mean, even if it didn't, like the split electorate is just like decoration. It wouldn't actually affect anything. Okay, so you think that's gonna go blue then? Yeah. Uh, also, we haven't talked about Nebraska's second district. It'll go red. There's no doubt in that. Okay. All right. Yeah. So Biden barely squeaks this one out. Yeah, I actually, uh, I actually even changed a bit more. I once again, I'm saying best case scenario, Trump. I also made New Hampshire red just in case because there's a chance it might go red, and I made New Mexico red oh, because you made New Hampshire red. Yeah, I made New Hampshire and New Mexico red because there's a chance that Trump could win either. So. Not, not New Mexico at all. Uh, but make, if you want to make that red, yeah, and Biden, even in, Biden is actually exactly at 270. 270. Yeah. And let's just give this scenario of Trump does win the second district of Maine because he's done it before. That puts him at an even split, but Biden would, I'm pretty sure, win due to national polls. Yeah, and he'd probably win New Mexico. So. Yeah, so we're just going to put that as blue. Now, Pennsylvania is, like, rather controversial in my opinion. Yeah, so. but I figured since we made Florida red, which is, like, also pretty battleground right now, it would make sense to make PA blue. Mm -hmm. I, I, th I, doubt, yeah. I doubt they'd both vote the same. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, any more controversy? You said Nevada's going slate blue. Colorado, I guess we could debate a little bit on that one. Uh, doubt that. Colorado, Colorado, Colorado hasn't been red in a while. Uh, and Kansas, that's another. Kansas, I don't think it'll go blue by any means. Let's see some other possibilities that could flip. Um, Kentucky and Tennessee have been. They'll remain red. There's not a dead. Like, maybe the senatorial race will be blue in Kentucky because people don't really like Mitch McConnell too much and the governor is a Democrat, but it'll vote for Trump for the election. In my opinion, the only way that Trump could ever flip New York is if Cuomo got elected as governor again. But that's yeah. not happening um, for another two years because that's when that, you know, because everybody in New York hates Cuomo. That is, like, the, I'm pretty sure he's the most hated thing in New York. Yeah, maybe. But, but New York City's like, hmm, I don't know, man, I like that. <laughs> yeah, New York's never flipping, I'm sorry. <laughs> if if mean, anything, if it, anything... In the next elections, what will happen is the South will go blue again and the Rust Belt will go red. So states like Ohio will just be like permanent red states. Wisconsin might be a permanent red state soon. Same with Michigan. But states like Georgia and Texas will become battleground and will oftentimes lean blue. Same with Louisiana. You see these states becoming more and more blue. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's take a look at states we haven't solidified being Pennsylvania, Florida, Nevada, and New Hampshire. We haven't solidified those at all. Uh, I, New Hampshire and Florida can go red. It doesn't really matter to me. PA, I, I think, is going to be blue because it's Biden's home state and he's leading there. And what else did you say? Nevada, okay. Ne so Nevada, 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 right now. Nevada is very democratic. Wait, what? What were you saying would barely become uh, democratic? Um, I'm not sure. All okay. of my all uh, of my states on here, are, like, seemingly are pretty solidly blue. Other than like maybe Wisconsin, there's room for there to be red there. Yeah, let's take a look at that one. And Pennsylvania, because it's a very tight race there as well. I, I, don't, I wouldn't consider it that tight of a race. Ooh, Nebraska's second district actually might go blue, in my opinion. 
Maybe. Uh, Biden's leading by 7%, 48 to 41, 11% for breathing room for both of them. All right, buddy. I got to go, but this was fun. All right. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. That kid was wholesome, bro. You can't even hate on that kid. He was a little wholesome kid. Anyways, let me go use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. You know what? I'm actually tempted to end the stream. You guys are going to fuck with me. So I'm tempted to end it. You know what? I'll just actually cover the screen. I'll cover the screen because fuck you guys. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Yo, what the fuck? Yo. Yo. What the fuck? Is that a fucking cat? How the fuck did you get in here? Yo, get the fuck out. Shit. Fuck. Left my back door open. Yeah, my 
motherfuckers. You think you can prank me? Fuck you. I've been sitting here reading chat for the last five fucking minutes. Fuck you. Cucks. I've, I've, I was reading the chat for a while. Talking about, oh, let's pretend to be Trump supporters. Let's pretend we heard noises. Fuck you. Yo, what's up? Oh, nothing much. I'm British for Trump. Why? Why do you like Trump? Oh, I like how people get pissed off of him. And, and that... <laughs> hold up. I like how people get pissed off at him. And I think it's funny. So I got, I got to vote for him. I'm American. I got a citizen. I'm 18. So I can vote. Are you the only person who laughs at your jokes? No. No, I'm like, in. Yeah, why are you lying to yourself? Why am I What? Why are you lying to yourself? I don't know why I'm lying. I don't understand why you think I'm lying to myself. Because there's no way in hell anyone finds you funny. Like, no way. Think I'm funny? I mean, I mean, if you think so, I mean, no, there's people seeing me. No, there's, people there's not. There's people laugh about it. There's not. There's probably a few dick. Okay, he skipped me. Why do you like Trump? Why do you not like Trump? I mean, I don't like any of his policies. Okay, that's an that's an instant skip. Yo, what's up? Hey, bro. How's it going? Not bad. How are you? I'm good. What, you into politics? Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're here, you know, like to talk about America, well, I can't. Like, yeah, I'm not that guy because I, I'm not in America right now, so I mm. can't take a position. But I also like to, um, you know, hear your opinions and things like that, so I can also get educated from you. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of Trump. That's all I really care about right now, getting Trump out of office. Yeah. Right, and I mean, as an immigrant, I feel yeah. Yeah. Like we're the more most affected by that. Well, I mean, right now I'm in Canada, not in the United States, but I've heard that things have been pretty tough for immigrants. Yeah, that's true. They have been. But luckily Biden is leading in the polls, so we'll see where this takes us. Well, I mean, that's, yeah, that's good. I mean, I don't know if it happens the same, but in Colombia it's always like that. Like, the party we I want, I want to win, like the one that is not building right now, he you know, goes up in the service and that stuff, and the other one always ends winning. Yeah, I mean, that's what happened last time, but hopefully it doesn't happen this time. Right. Okay, thank you for sharing that, bro. Yeah, you have a good one. Your mic's off. Okay, why don't you plug it in then? If you plugged it in, then it's not working. It's still not working. All right, I can't hear you. I'm not good at I'm not particularly good at reading lips either. The cat, there was never no, there was never a cat. Really? What's up? You into politics? Yeah. What do you think about the election? Well, the election is okay, and this motherfucker Trump is going to lead you to hell, people. That's true, yeah. Uh, really, I'm not even American. Maybe I have this tribe, but it's America, it's on every place in the world, it's not the real. Mm. Yeah. I can't even pay attention to the conversation because you fucking dick cheeses and chatter actually piss me off so much. Like you're so fucking unbearably unfunny. You guys are like literally like the same level as funny uh, as the fucking slur sayers on here. Like you actually have no comedic intent or understanding. I'm sorry if that's mean, it's just true. Like, you guys aren't funny, like a lot of you.
يا بس وايت باور ها وايت باور دو يو اجري نو واي ليش سيلي تو فاليو ريس ام واي Why do you think that is? It doesn't matter because that this is what it would boil down to. Race doesn't even exist. Yeah, species exists. Yeah, sure. What? White and black are different species. No, nope. we have different anatomy, different skin, different. Mm, that, that's not enough of a criteria to differentiate a species. Yeah, we have we have a bigger prefrontal cortex. No, we have don't. Smaller. Because no, we don't. No, we don't. White people have poured millions of dollars to try to prove that, oh, and they've never been successful. Turn to the side a bit. Can I see you from the side? Oh, am I Jewish? Yeah. Uh huh. Anyways, yeah, you are, are you an are, are you an you anthropologist? Are you a Jew? Tell me, tell me that. Huh? Are you a Jew? Yes, and I have a higher IQ than you as a result oh, of that. Oh, boy, Vaish, no more. Anyway, are you an anthropologist? Listen. Are you listen, an anthropologist? What? Are you an anthropologist? Uh, no, I'm not an yeah, anthropologist. Uh, yeah, you're you not. Mean? Yeah, because you're fucking stupid. You would never be able to actually have the intellectual capabilities to go in that field. Yeah, you're making prescriptions Listen as if you are you. one. Huh? Listen, Talmud is satanic Jew. Listen to me. Okay. I'm going to tell yeah. you one sentence and then you can talk. Please, uh-huh. So we can have a conversation. I'm not even Jewish. I just know that that gets under your skin. Uh, no, I no, do I have a pretty big nose, though. I mean, I guess that would be enough to fool you because you're actually so oh, fucking stupid that you look at oh, phenotypical oh, traits to decide something. Don't make assumptions. Huh? Shut the fuck off for a second. No. Let me finish one sentence. I will make any assumptions, I please. When it boils down to the coming of the race war, mm-hmm. your uniform will be your fucking skin. Mm-hmm. So make sure you make good use of it because if you don't, you're going to be on the losing side, mm-hmm. on the side that will be humiliated, mm-hmm. enslaved, Or dead, or mm-hmm. bent alive. That's cool, bro. But no one's scared of you. I promise you. Uh, Because no, guess no, what? Guess I'm what? I'm not telling you to be scared. Just so you know. Just so you know. No one's scared, dude. No one's no, scared what? of your little fucking larping ass race war. You. I form, already know that you've gotten cucked by black people in your life, form, and you're deathly fucking afraid no, no. of them. You you interpret black people as nothing but a stereotype, and that stereotype in your head is so violent that you would actually fucking pussy out if it came down to ever fighting a black person. Don't you would worry. fucking shit your pants. I, I, I You're an actual fights. cuck, bro. I You're an actual fights. cuck. I, I actually don't give a fuck fights. about what you say. I actually don't give a fuck about what you say. You're built off you're built off insecurity. That's why you give a fuck about race. Okay. Some dude who wasn't white so. fucked your girl and she left him. She left you for him because he has way better dick than you. And now you're coping on the internet like a motherfucker looking at anyone with a bigger nose than you and a bit more articulation and calling them a Jew. Exactly. Shut the fuck up. You're a little ass boy. You're a little ass boy in a grown man's body. Huh? Which state are you from? What state am I from? I'm from Georgia. Yep. You live around niggers? Okay, yep, exactly. You would never say some shit like that to a black person's face. You would never say some shit like that because you're an actual insecure little ass motherfucker. You're an insecure little boy. You think that these motherfuckers are the biggest fucking scariest dudes on the planet. You would never do shit like that. Guess what? You would never do shit like that because you have that fucking stereotype built in your head. And guess what? It would come to fruition. You would call somebody that in, in, to their fucking face and they beat the shit out of you, bro. They fucking break your windpipe. And they'd be the fucking funniest shit on the planet. I would, I would be so fucking glad when you got your shit fucking broken dude i don't give a fuck dude i would be the happiest dude on the planet i don't give a fuck if you're my white brother i'd be so fucking happy when you got your shit rocked this is why you're on a fucking camera bro you're literally online you're literally online have you ever spoken to a fucking black person in your life no you fucking have it and that's because you say some dumb shit that would actually get you clapped like your actual little pussy like your actual little pussy i can fucking sense your shriveled up dick through your fucking camera bro Why oh so my Your boyfriend is black yeah dude my boyfriend is fucking black and he'll beat the shit yeah, out of you and then i'll take I his see. dick i'll I take his dick gladly I after he fucking see. chad beat the shit out of you bro holy fuck my gay black boyfriend would fucking kill you yeah. you would not be able to fucking breathe hey i'm shaking look at this uh-huh yeah you behind the camera bro i'm so i'm sure you're so big in real life bro i'm sure listen, listen, listen. i'm sure you're such a chad bro if a nigger Okay, uh huh, uh huh. Literally, I'm so glad you're gonna die one day. That's like, like not even cap. I rarely ever wish death upon people, but I'm so glad, bro. There's not gonna be anyone at your fucking funeral except for your inbred ass family. I'm glad. What shoes? What shoes your grandparents got on? You fucking clown. Shut the fuck up, bro. Literally, shut the fuck up. Holy fuck. All right, I'm restarting the live.